Forever. I didn't think we'd ever get out of there. And the announcement guy, he was great because he was Joe. <laughs> they get in the car and, and the dad, he's just going on and on about it. And the boy in the back seat, he said, yeah, but that was a pretty good show for a quarter. <laughs> It's all right. <laughs> Come on. It's all right. But I used to, I used to do that. I was critical like that. And the Lord got a hold of me by the collar. So he did that to you sometimes. He said, "Listen, boy, that's my bride you're talking about. That's who you are. You're his bride." And I'm going to tell you something. My bride is sitting up there. You want to get my hair up? Say something in earshot about her to me. My hair will get up and, and it's going to get ugly. God feels that way about you. And so we need to be careful about the church down the street, the church across town, the church we came from, maybe the church we're going to. Be careful what you say because Jesus... As messed up as the church is, still is bright. With all their faults, with all their success, still is bright. And he died for it. He's coming back for it. He loves it. He's pouring into it. He's redeeming it. And it's for, for what he did. It's just for what he did. So we need to be careful about that. So when we're talking about unity, let's do everything to keep the unity in our fellowship. Let's do everything we can to keep the unity in all the churches around us. Let's don't be let's be the one that takes the high road. Can we? You, you agree with that? Let's be the one that takes the high road. So John and Wendy comes.